Hey guys, it's Brian again, uh, and you're probably wondering why you're looking at a bag of rice, a two pound bag of rice. The other day I was at a local sports authority store, and I wanted some, some uh, sandbags. You guys know the shooting bags that you prop up your forearm so you can uh, get a better resting place um, so that you're not wobbling so much while you're trying to sight in your weapon. <clears throat> well... I found them and they were like thirty dollars for a set, and I just couldn't see paying that much money. Well, I have a friend of mine, and we'll just call him the Mothman. He's uh, not tech savvy, so he didn't want to make this video, but um, he said, "Good idea. Take an old sock, which I have one of my old. Don't worry, it's clean. Old socks I used to wear with my uniforms, all stretched out. I don't wear it anymore. Um, bag of rice." He didn't specify how big a bag, so I bought a two pound bag because I figured that's enough to get my rest on and it wouldn't move too much. So I slipped this end of the sock over the bag and this is what I ended up with. And it's not too bad, I tied a knot on the end so I can carry it, <clears throat> it doesn't go anywhere, I can hit it. and. If the bag happens to bust on the inside, um, you're not going to lose too much rice because you have the sock. So these were, uh, I guess you call them tube socks. They're, they're pretty long. They were coming up to my knees because I wore them with my uniform and uh, high boots. So anyway, uh, it cost me a pair of old socks and $2.87 at the dollar store for both bags of rice and there you go so um, cheap way to get some weapon rest see you next time